here's a way how you can install and play Bulletstorm on your Linux PC. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using Play and Linux. It makes uh, managing software so much easier. And plus, because I am running a 64-bit operating system, Play on Linux makes installing a 32-bit wine uh, really easy. Uh, you can uh, get uh, Play on Linux from their official website or from your software center. I recommend getting uh, it from their official website because it's the latest. They have a deb installer or a command, a terminal command. After you get it, uh, you should run it from terminal or from uh, uh, dash. You'll start it. After you start it, you'll need to get uh, wine. Uh, for this tutorial, 1.15.17 is the latest wine, and I'm using that one. Uh, you need to get a 32 bit wine uh, uh, and install it like I do. Make sure that you select this 86 uh, architecture line. This will take some time. Okay. Uh, that's it. Now we need to uh, set up a wine prefix. Let's create a new. Next, 32 bit wine. Select name. If it tells you to uh, ask you that uh, it wants to install Mono, uh, go ahead and install it. Okay, select my prefix now. You can play this game in a Windows mode or in a full screen mode. Uh, on Linux, I prefer to play these games in Windows mode, so I select emulate virtual desktop and then select the resolution I want it to be the virtual desktop uh, or the window and uh, after that I press automatically capture mouse cursor uh, so the cursor uh, will be it will be locked uh, to the selected window uh, virtual desktop and uh, I think that's how you play most of the games Now we need to run this game setup. Uh, select the setup file. I'm gonna install. Uh, I'm gonna enter my CD key. So please be patient. Next, next, and enter your CD key. Okay. After uh, you see this installation, will take some time. So I'll. Pause the video and to come back after the uh, installation is complete. Okay, as yes, you can see, the installation was finished. Let's play finish. But now we need to uh, change uh, the software a bit, uh, change the DLLs and uh, uh, stuff in it so uh, the, your country's copyright law should give you the right to change your software otherwise I recommend don't doing anything now we need to enter the di default wine uh, enter the software directory and uh, we need to delete two files as you can see uh, the files uh, names are written in the right note well Let's delete this. Yes. Now we need to delete this as well. And we must uh, copy some files in this directory, directory as well.
uh, all of uh, these files will be provided in the uh, description below the download links let's copy paste and uh, oh, I'm still saying that read your country's copyright law uh, you should uh, your law should allow you to do all of this now let's make a shortcut to our game now this club shortcut or shortcut as well from play on X so like that name it next and the final thing uh, we need to update this game uh, the update will be provided as well select the update from the uh, folder okay it will take some time that's it and on the, after you press finish uh, it will start the game but uh, it's because it will it's first boot other, uh, in other times you will start it from the shortcut and that's it games runs runs pretty decently uh, head sound and head everything Okay, thanks you for watching and I hope it was helpful.